recess time, people, and we have one hell of a packed show for you this week, including a look at the celeb heavy highlights from the Vita Rooms event in London, a peek at Spec Ops The Line and PS Vita's Unit 13 in our news briefing, and a chat with the cold breathing hardcore who queued for PS Vita's midnight launch. But before all that, it's time to get even colder than Oxford Street at midnight as we hit the slopes with our Game of the Week SSX. Friday, March the 2nd, 2012, marks the beginning of a new era for PS3, namely Uncharted 2 having to give up its official best snow on PlayStation crown to EA's trick-spinning giant SSX. Cheer up, mate. After all, SSX is a slip-sliding mountain of powdery brilliance crammed with collectibles, shortcuts and cheeky crags of rock waiting to break your face. Rubbish! Initially, the difficulty curve, which is more like a difficulty ice cliff, means instead of landing stunts, you'll be landing yourself in a virtual hospital, with splintered shins, punctured lungs and death the most likely diagnosis. Persevere, however, and SSX's actually highly intuitive controls blossom into an instinctive setup, one that'll have you pulling off physics-bothering tricks with fluid ease. Ditching the D-pad and face button combo of old, new SSX maps board control to the right stick, while R2 powers stumps into spinning overdrive, and L2 is used to grind rails, trees and bits of clay. Even sexier, in an icy, way too cold to actually be sexy way, is the fact you can now take SSX online, as creative director Todd Batty explains. So the way that Global Events works is there's a constant ongoing tournament, um, and when that tournament is over, another one begins in its place. And what that means is you can literally jump in to as many of these as you want. You don't have to be there when they start, you don't have to be there when they end. You can just surf around on the, glo uh, the globe or look at your Global Events wall. And the way that we can support that is by supporting up to 100,000 people competing concurrently online at the same time. For those who prefer snowing solo, the main campaign is split into three categories. Race It dims the focus on tricks in favour of all-out speed, Trick It is all about landing the biggest, baddest, on fieriest stunts possible, and Survive It tasks you with making it down treacherous slopes without becoming dead. Aiding you here is the rewind button, which costs you precious points but is pretty much essential following hip shearing accidents and can also be used to make impromptu dubstep remixes in your head. Crucially, when you do SSX right, it's wonderful breathless fun and like nothing else on PS3. Series veterans will lap up the familiar risk-reward balancing act while newcomers can look forward to Run DMC's signature track kicking in after you fill up your boost meter. It's time to go snow. Brace yourselves for a news-heavy blow to the brain now as it's time for our PlayStation briefing. Dropping out of literally nowhere and slamming us in the eyes with lots of gorgeous sand is Spec Ops The Line, a third-person shooter set in Dubai after a city-levelling sandstorm. The game is looking mightily impressive and features Access favourite Nolan North swearing lots as the voice of main man Walker. Don't f*** with us. Here's senior designer Sean Frieson to tell us more. It's funny that you haven't heard him swear much in games because, oh, he's a filthy guy in real life. It's great. Mmm, <laughs> filthy Nolan. Call us old-fashioned futurists, but we always hoped for a robot that would walk the dog and do the ironing instead of ripping its own face off and shooting all of Tokyo, which is exactly what happens in Binary Domain's Vision of 2080, as you can find out for yourselves by picking up the Frantic Blaster, which is out now. Meanwhile, you'll have to wait until March the 7th to get your hands on PS Vita's Elite Forces Shooter Unit 13, which, as we demonstrate here, features hiding, stabbing and having a beard. That is, unless you grab the demo from the store, in which case it still has all those things, but you can play it right now. Finally, there's just time to tell you about our recent trip to Hong Kong, where we fly-kicked criminals in the face thanks to revamped open-world epic Sleeping Dogs. We'll have a full report next week, but for now, here's one of the many reasons we think setting a game in Hong Kong is an excellent idea. Beautiful! We'll be back with more news next week. Put that PS Vita down, it's time for us to lead you through the best of what's on the store. 
and then pick it up again because available right now are three games which give the machine's augmented reality feature a good workout. Table football, fireworks and cliff diving. Each one combines camera and touchscreen sorcery to suck the world around you into the PS Vita and turn it into a game. And even better than harnessing the forces of darkness, they're all completely free. Less free but equally brilliant is the life-swallowing PS Vita version of Plants vs Zombies, the flower defence game which now comes with touch and tilt controls and 43 trophies to collect, just in case it wasn't maddeningly moorish enough already. Sticking with zombies, in fact sticking things in zombies as well as setting them on fire and riding around in wheelchairs with guns on the side, is the newly downloadable version of Dead Rising 2 off the record. This alternate take on the original Dead Rising 2 reinserts lardy snapper Frank West as the hero, which means the return of photo-based side questing as well as loads of fresh undead slaughtering action. And speaking of big games, today also sees the arrival of Bioshock 2 on the store. This underrated return to Rapture has you hulking about as Subject Delta, one of the original diving suit badass baddies now looking for his lost little sister. It's a welcome return to splicer-thumping action and the most legitimate reason you'll have this week to shout who's the daddy now at the TV. That's all from the store this week. We'll be back with more virtual goodies next time. For our bonus level this week, we braved freezing temperatures to bring you all the excitement from PlayStation Vita's midnight launches in London and Birmingham. We are brave, aren't we? The fun kicked off outside Game on Oxford Street, where one dedicated gamer queued for over 72 hours to be first in line when that clock struck midnight. Two, one. Instead of turning into a pumpkin, he grabbed himself a sack of mega PS Vita goodies along with his console. Whoa! I think he's quite excited. Meanwhile in Birmingham, the queue was building outside Game Station on New Street. We spoke to the assembled masses to find out which games they were most excited about playing. First game we're going to be getting is probably Uncharted because I'm a big fan of the series. Well, the first games that I'll be getting uh, is Lumens. Yeah, the first game I'm definitely going to get is going to be like uh, Enchanted. I'm definitely looking forward to it. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Wipe out. Definitely have to play it there when I was DJing. That's probably the best game for me right now, you know. I'm looking to pick up the FIFA. You could actually pinpoint where you want to, uh, like the angles and things. That was very good. Remember, kids, nerve damage from exposure is temporary, but the trophies you'll earn in Uncharted Golden Abyss are forever. For more on PS Vita's launch, watch out for an exclusive extended video on the Access Facebook page. By now, the lucky ones among you will be well into your first week of bunking off work to snuggle up with your brand new PlayStation Vita. But rewind seven days and hundreds of eager gamers were swarming the Vita rooms on Oxford Street for a pre-release dabble with the new handheld. In the final leg of our countrywide Vita rooms tour, London saw the event off in typically bombastic style. Things were started by a DJ off between Masters of the Airwaves, Tim Westwood and Chris Moyles, followed by the main event, namely you lot having a blast on your favourite PS Vita titles. Game sites have been talking about escape plan and it's easy to see why. That game is everything you want to do for the Vita. It works very well with the touchscreen and it's pretty much perfect for the system. It makes sense on the Vita, it makes a lot of sense on the Vita. I had actually amazing fun on the reality fighters with touchscreen controls, which is actually quite amazing. I did quite well, actually. It was, it was really fun. Best one here at the minute, I would say, is Wipeout. I really enjoyed the um, how it's cross-platform stuff. It looks seamless, it looks like it's the same game. So it sounds like they've actually got something for loads of different types of gamers, so whatever you're really looking for. Slamming into day two with a sack full of grime was none other than Wiley, the one with the Rolex, not the Coyote, who brought the house down with some big tunes and some even bigger pointing. As if that wasn't big enough, Sunday saw the Vita Room staging UK finals of the FIFA Interactive World Cup. The tense knockout competition was a boiling pot of swears, celebrations and finally one winner. See our special report next week. As launch night itself rolled around, the Vita Room celebrated with an exclusive access party and then bringing the whole show to a close for the final time was none other than chart-topping rap maestro Tinchy Strider, who sent the crowds home with an earful of melodic brilliance to go with their shiny new games machines. Massive thanks to everyone who turned up over the past month, from Manchester, Glasgow and London, for making the Vita Room so memorable. For news on all upcoming Access events, hit our Facebook page at facebook.com slash PlayStation Access.
before we go, here's a bit of armless fun, courtesy of limb-popping demon slasher Never Dead. Hero Bryce is an immortal slayer of all things nasty. I simply adore that shade of salmon pink. But with great power comes... Ouch! Very fragile arms and legs, apparently. Here he is flapping about trying to reassemble himself. Can he find somebody? Anybody at all? Nope, it looks like nobody wants to hang out with Bryce today. And that's a massive shame. For more videos or for info on upcoming Access events, head on over to our Facebook page at facebook.com slash PlayStation Access. See you next week.